Hello Curlies, it's Mary and welcome back to The Curly Closet. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to go from an old twist out to refreshed curls, kinks and coils for summertime in a bath. So stay tuned for the rest of the video. So jumping right in. In this section of the video, I don't know what was going on. I was just in a very, very good mood, as you can probably tell. <laughs> so this is actually a fresh twist out. It's not an old twist out, but because I wanted to do this video, I decided to just do this on a fresh twist out. I sacrificed the hairstyle just for you guys. Um, and I'm willing to do it just so that I can show you what I do. So I've used a stretchy band. You've probably seen this in a hundred videos of mine because I use this stretchy band for so many different reasons. Um, this is not a permanent fixture, so you don't, it doesn't need to be perfect. It can just be any band. I just use this because it's stretchy and it doesn't damage my hair. So as you can see, I've pulled most of my hair up, but I've left a section out at the back. This is where we're going to be starting from. <laughs> Grab your spray bottle and just spray the back section of your hair lightly. I haven't completely drenched my hair with water, but it's fairly wet. This is more important when my hair is really dry because, you know, when you want to refresh your hair, you need to add some moisture. I am going to be using this sealing cream from the main choice to be specific this is the main choice tropical moringa sweet oil and honey endless moisture sealing cream this is my very first time using this product and i'm using this to smooth into the ends of my hair you can see i'm using the praying hands method and i'm focusing on the ends so i'm not really trying to really wet the product deeply into my hair in terms of like twisting it or really raking or anything like that but I am just going over it and just smoothing the product down my strands and focusing on the ends this is essentially what helps to refresh my hair so once that section is done and I feel like it has a good amount of moisture in it and the hydration from the water has been sealed in with the cream I just carry on and move on to the next section and I do the same use my stretchy band, pull my hair up, leave a section out at the back. And I just take small sections, whatever can really fit into my hands. And I just smooth the product down in the smaller sections. There's one section of my hair at the very back, which gets neglected a lot. And I didn't realize, but it's kind of sort of a problem area for me because it doesn't get as much moisture and I get more split ends in this area. So I try to focus on it. And it's this section right here. We're just going to make sure to give it some love. Um, so then moving on to the front, I essentially do more of the same. Also, if you are interested in videos on natural hair, lifestyle and beauty, then be sure to hit the red subscribe button below. You can also hit the bell for notifications so that you're notified every single time I upload a new video. So the purpose of the water is to add some hydration back into my hair. And then of course the sealing cream is used to just seal that hydration into my hair and give my hair just that extra bit of love and protection and a little bit of curl definition and yeah um, as a first impression this sealing cream right here is very potent you don't need a lot you definitely don't need as much as I used I was kind of heavy-handed because I didn't realize how rich it is but it is very rich um, but smooths onto the hair very easily also so I'm loving it so far and did I mention that it smells absolutely heavenly if I didn't tell you before I'm gonna tell you now it's gorgeous right so for the next bit I am pulling all of my hair up to the top of my head and I am going to be using my beloved stretchy band again just to put my hair loosely on the top of my head um, if you're following my uh, tutorial then you want to just try to make this fairly smooth you don't want like your hair to be uneven around the perimeter edges so just try to make it as smooth as possible but don't stress too much about it it's just meant to be a bit loose um, so you can see my hair's hanging down a bit more than usual because you know it's it's kind of still wet damp wet to damp you know 
Okay, so now I have sprayed a bit of water just around my hairline. Um, and now I am using some of the main choice pink lemonade and coconut super antioxidant and texture beautifier mousse which actually does smell like pink lemonade legitimately um, I'm using this to just smooth around my hair now the thing is in summer I don't always feel like I really want to put a ton of gel in my hair if I'm really trying to do a really really slick really slicked puff then I will do so but if I just want to lightly smooth my hair up then I will use a mousse like this in the summer. Mousses are just a bit lighter but they do add some moisture without being too heavy on the hair so this is perfect for summertime and then of course I'm just brushing this a little bit with my ball bristle brush just to smooth my hair up and now on to la pièce de résistance I am taking two of these snap hair ties, also known as snappies from Swirly Curly, and I'm going to be using these to make my puff. Now these are an absolute revelation to me because they actually hold my hair without doing that weird pulling that you get when you use either ribbons or other kinds of hair ties. I don't quite know how it works, but it works amazingly well. So I undo the snaps on each of the ties and then I snap them together in the middle to create one long hair tie. Now, just so you're aware, the snap piece in the middle doesn't snag on your hair, so you don't have to worry about that. So I've pulled it around to the back of my head and I'm just holding the, the ends at the back and then I am smoothing this slowly up at the front and the sides. So you can see it's just gonna go smoothly up into a puff. And then when I'm able to, I just pull it more tightly just for it to, you know, make a solid puff. And then I pull the two remaining snap ties to the front and I just snap them together just like so. Now, I know this may potentially look tight on camera, but it's really not tight at all. It feels very secure on my hair, but not tight. And yet when I look at my hair, it doesn't look poofy or anything like that. Because you know, like the worst thing in the world is trying to do a puff and your hair just looks weird and poofy. This solves that problem without having a ton of tightness on your hair. Also, if you didn't know, I am a Swelly Curly affiliate, which means that if you use my discount code Curly Closet, you can get 15% off any purchase on the Swirly Curly site, link in the description box below the video. So I take out my stretchy band and now I just let my hair be free. Um, I'm adding a little bit of edge control here. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, it's up to you. But I just decided to go for mousse with a little bit of edge control because I didn't want any heavy gel. It was really warm. And you know when you just want something off your face, especially your hair when it's hot, so that is essentially the style um at this point all i'm going to do is just zhuzh my hair a little bit to put my hair just in the direction of where i want all of my curly coily bits to go my hair is off my face i feel cool my hair is out of the way and it's moisturized and refreshed just perfect so let me know in the comment section below if you do something similar during the summer when you want to get your hair off your face, if you want to refresh your curls, kinks or coils. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with a friend. And I'll see you again soon on The Curly Closet. Wishing you health, happiness and beautiful hair. I'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.